Last Day on Earth was, and still is, a fun and enjoyable game offering a variety of activities from raids to clearing locations, farming, upgrading settlements, doing waves in the police department, or clearing Bunker Alpha for the 1000th time. For new players, the game can be incredibly addictive, with plenty of gameplay mechanics to discover. However, LDOE has significantly declined over the past few years. Ask any veteran player, and they'll tell you the same thing. LDOE was much better from 2017 to 2019. Back then, it was ahead of its time and had the potential to be one of the best mobile zombie survival games. But unfortunately, it didn't live up to that promise. Today, LDOE feels like just another game on the Play Store. It has lost much of the excitement it once had. But why did such a promising game fall off so hard? In today's video, I'll try to answer that question. Keep in mind that this is just my opinion, and your experience may differ, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. So what was LDOE like when it first started? Well, it was simple. A new game offering a fresh take on the survival genre. It was fun, exciting, and well-received, with devs who regularly worked on updates. The game didn't have as much content as it does today, but it had that addictive element. The core gameplay loop of upgrading your base, clearing locations for resources like wood and stone, and farming Bunker Alpha to gather loot kept players engaged. The never-ending grind was what made LDOE so captivating. On top of that, regular updates added new locations like the motel, farm, and police department, along with new vehicles, gameplay elements like raiding, and new biomes like the northern area. This constant stream of content kept players coming back for more. That's all players wanted from the start. Permanent content added regularly to keep the game new and fresh. It had good gameplay, good updates, and a hardworking dev team. Everything a successful game needs. All the devs needed to do was continue updating the game, adding more permanent content. The majority of players back then were pretty happy with the direction the game was going up until 2019, where it started to go downhill, at least for me, it was clear that the devs had changed their direction. The first steps to what LDOE is today. And unfortunately, we didn't see that coming. Many promises were made, and few were kept. This was one of the main reasons for LDOE's decline. We got excited about new ideas and concepts, only to be immediately disappointed. Either they were never released, or they weren't what the devs had promised. Features like the Helicopter, Bunker Charlie, and Tungsten were teased but never delivered. While I understand that developing such content takes time, these were highly anticipated features, and the community waited for them with excitement. Now, they've become little more than memes. We laugh at the idea that these features will ever be released. Another major letdown was multiplayer. From the beginning, the community wanted to play with friends, share a base, and tackle challenges like Bunker Alpha together. The devs promised multiplayer, but what we got was far from what we had hoped for. It started with Sector 7, which was okay, new and innovative. It was exciting for a while. After that, we ended up with the Crater. It's a decent addition with new mechanics and ideas, but it's not what players wanted. Why not integrate these features into the main game? The answer seems to be that it was too difficult, and the devs shifted their focus to making money rather than delivering on promises. In 2024, that's pretty much what they care about the most. Packs, season passes, skins. Add to that the fact that the updates are slow and extremely underwhelming. Sometimes I wonder what they're actually doing with all the money they have. Fast forward to 2052, and we're still stuck in LDOE's beta phase. We're on season 547, Bunker Charlie is still missing, the helicopter requires a transmission we'll never find, and we're still clearing Bunker Alpha like it's day one. Back to reality, LDOE is still in beta after seven years. When will it officially release? We have no idea, and it seems the devs don't either. The game is stuck in perpetual development, with only minor updates, temporary events, and occasional quality of life changes. The last permanent location 
the transport hub was added in 2023. And since then, we've seen almost nothing new. Instead, we're getting repetitive seasons with temporary content, each more underwhelming than the last. It's clear that the devs' main objective is to keep players spending money on these temporary events while doing the bare minimum in terms of development. Seasons, at first, were a new and fun concept. Each had a theme, with challenges and tasks to complete. Even though they were temporary events, it was still a fun experience for a while. Now, the only theme for Seasons is to sell more stuff. More packs, more rewards behind paywalls, more skins for the chopper, backpack, and the character. Nothing special, just the same repetitive events. Adding to that, they replaced genuinely good events with bad ones, like we saw with the headhunting arena. So, why did LDOE decline? Here are the main reasons, in my opinion. Lots of promised content, but very little delivered. A watered-down multiplayer experience. Still in beta with very few permanent updates. A focus on temporary repetitive content with seasonal events. The devs' emphasis on making money rather than improving the game. Do I have hope for LDOE's future? Not really. Unless Kefir sells the game to a more dedicated studio, we'll likely keep getting the same seasonal updates with little permanent content and maybe one major addition per year. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.